will always bring me something new. you 
will always bring me something new.
know that every day will always bring me something new Every day 
will always bring me something new
Good afternoon, loved ones, faculty, and class of 2021. As your class president, it is my pleasure to welcome you as we celebrate our graduation. This is a day we have been working toward for years and it is finally here. I am happy to represent the class of 2021 with whom I have grown, struggled, and succeeded with here at Osceola High School. Many of the members of this class have been together for 14 years. We have laughed together, cried together, and cheered for one another over the course of these 14 years. Most of us know more about each other than we probably should. And that is just one of the great things about growing up in a small school. 
Over the course of the 14 years, we have grown together and become a family. We have made so many memories together, some that are unforgettable and others we have long since forgotten. We will cherish the memories of the long nights, annoying our loved ones, and receiving a talking to from our teachers as well as Dr. McClymans. I know I'm not the only one who remembers those talks we were given in fifth and sixth grade about not being able to get along and dragging out childish drama. <laughs> one of the things we will always remember is Dave and Jay telling jokes constantly. That being said, David and Jade, what happens when you slap Dwayne Johnson on the butt? You hit rock bottom. <laughs> we have had our times together, and now we must move on to bigger and better things. We have just finished the first big milestone, but now we have to continue on with our lives as well. Responsible adults, college freshmen, or members of our military. As we take this next step, remember the times we shared and the memories we made, and now it is time to go and make new memories that will last a lifetime. Will you please join me in a moment of silence for our classmate, Cody Singleton. I now invite my fellow classmates to pass out the roses.
Just like James, doesn't go anywhere in a hurry. <laughs> I'm Mr. Franson, Superintendent of Schools here at Osceola. It's my job this afternoon to introduce to you our outstanding senior. Every year, secondary teachers vote on an outstanding senior, and their name is engraved on a plaque by the entryway, and Farm Bureau agents give a monetary reward for that. To be the outstanding senior, this individual must exemplify the traits of character, academics, involvement, and service expected of all individuals from Osceola. This year's outstanding senior is Mr. Joe Guerin. Good afternoon. I am super happy to see that we can all be here today, and especially I can see everybody's faces fully. That's great. Now, I would like to talk to everyone about something that means really dear to me, and I think it means really dear to everyone in this room, and that's the community of Osceola, Missouri. Now, the community of Osceola, Missouri has impacted my life and who I am today. This community has impacted all of us graduates and those before us. For those of you that don't know, I'm very involved in the agriculture community in FFA here in Osceola. Through my journey, I've got the opportunity to experience all kinds of things on my path. I've got to meet all kinds of different business owners and community members. Even though I, was given, I have given many hours of community service, serving local people and businesses, the hours always came back and returned to our school. Anytime students ask for fundraising or donations, the community has always been here to support us. Clubs such as the Optimist, Farm Bureau, Cattlemen's, they've all given countless hours and dollars to our community and our school. Our local businesses have always supported us, cheering us on, no matter where we were going in our goals, whether it was academics, sports, or just our life in general. We have all been granted the privilege and honor to have been a part of the Osceola community and the family of Osceola. Graduates, I want you to think about the impact that this community has had on you. I remember serving multiple community hours with Abby and Shelby. I remember seeing Zach Faulkner on the side of the road helping anybody out in need. Whether that was me a few times or not, couldn't tell you. I remember seeing Cody ride around on his lawnmower. We all used to give him a hard time about it, but he was out mowing yards and just doing great things. There's a lot of good memories we have here. I remember trying to skateboard down Congress Hill, sled down, sled down Hospital Hill, and trying to swim from the Optimist Park to the walking bridge. It seemed like a feat that we could never get. Fellow, grad, fellow graduates, remember the memories and the impact that you created here. Cherish them. But don't be afraid of the road that lies ahead. Graduates, I want you to think about just what this community has done for us in a whole, everything that they've given to us. I challenge you to go and find your own community, whether it's here or someone somewhere 100 miles away from here. Go be involved in that community. Be something. Create your legacy and find your community. Thank you. Thank you. Next, the senior class invited their elementary principal to be their guest speaker. I'd like to tell you a little bit about Dr. McClymans. He's meant a lot to me and a lot to all of us. Dr. Chris McClymans has been at Osceola Public Schools his entire 25 and a half year career. Dr. McClyman's student taught here, taught fifth grade for five and a half years, and has been the elementary principal ever since. In 2013, Dr. Chris McClyman's was named the distinguished principal of, in Central Missouri. During his time here at Osceola, he has coached volleyball, softball, football, and the bowling team. Dr. McClyman's is very involved in the Osceola community, being a youth leader and avid Optimist member for many years. Please welcome Dr. McClyman's.
Mr. Garen, just want to let you know I had this right here while he was saying that the entire time. <laughs> the, the board president even said something about that. <clears throat> Class of 21, thank you too for the moments and the memories that you have provided all of us. Most of you expected me to probably come out in a giant T-Rex suit, in a sumo suit. Well, if you guys remember back in first and second grade, we had a little bit of an issue with people dressing in costumes. Jade still does not like that. <laughs> Smokey the Bear, or Smokey Bear, came and oh my goodness, if you guys can't remember that. So I did not want to be the one that showed up being me and watching Jade leave his own graduation. <laughs> yes, thank you. I will always be your boss. <laughs> Carlos and Carly. I can close my eyes and see grandma and grandpa taking you out of car seats out of the buses. That's how long I've been here. The double duo, the dynamic duo of James and Cody Singleton. Oh my goodness. The, the things and, that they accomplished and did just in elementary, but watch all the way through. The grace moments, Miss Gaylord. I was part of every single one of them. But I have to say, this message today is not going to focus on the negatives that we've all been through this last year. You, the class of 21, you deserve so much more than that. My advice and challenge to each of you, you be you with PP. Yes, Dr. McClyman's just said in a large group of people, PP. <laughs> now Mr. Faulkner's going, I hope he didn't say duty too or we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> you see, you be you with the plan and the purpose that is designed for you. The plan and the purpose. But you be you. Well, let me give you examples of you. Zach Faulkner, I can still remember the day that your father <laughs> was standing with me on the front stoop going, this place is not ready for him. <laughs> You will not survive, Dr. McClymans. And I looked at him and I said, he will be just fine. And Zach Faulkner was just fine. Because what was defined on the outside defined as ornery, people forgot to say how big of a heart this young man has. How big of a heart? Well, it's when people he thinks aren't looking really notice the big things that are happening. And I have seen it countless times. I've also seen him as a senior take money out of his own pocket and pay for a fallen classmate. So Zach Faulkner, being ornery can be good. Well, let's talk about Cody Williams. I learned a lot from Cody Williams. Cody Williams it wasn't about a month ago, there was some money that was found in the high school commons and he returned it to Renee. And I asked Miss Murray about it. And then I went and asked him and he goes, well, it didn't belong there. A couple weeks later, I'm going down the elementary hall and Cody Williams keeps getting frustrated. I couldn't figure out why. So every day I was there about the same time. And then finally, it hit me. Cody notices the letter S that is hung behind a coat rack in the kindergarten hall. He gets mad, he goes into a classroom and he gets tape. And he tapes all on this. Then in a nine foot wall, he doesn't get a chair, he doesn't get a ladder, he jumps up on the wall and he slams the letter S up on the wall. Now you may probably be trying to follow, what, so what? Well, Mrs. Shepard, how are you? Mrs. Shepard had a saying on her wall that says, it's sweet to be a kindergartner, but the S had fallen for weeks. Cody was frustrated. When he saw that S, that S had a place. And so, Cody Williams, thank you for teaching me a huge lesson. Because if you want harmony, everything, everything has its own place. And through Cody's eyes, that's what he sees. And the rest of us need to see the same thing. Reed Byrne, he comes to me and says, I've got some A-plus hours. Can I help in one of the classrooms? Sure, Reed. Well, why do you want to do that? Dr. McClymans, 
When I was an elementary student, the thing that was one of the most impactful for me was having, being around the high school students and have heroes. I want to be that impact just like they were to me. You be you. You be you. My TAs that were in the three-year-old classroom, oh, Mackenzie Wollers, you've got the patience of Job. <laughs> Mackenzie Keel, Lily, Miss Cutler, to see the spark in your guys' eyes of what you were doing with those children. You be you. Alexis Allen, Holleran, Cade, Moses. I could go on and on about each and every single one of you, but there's going to be a point in line where the people behind you are going to start chucking things at me. <laughs> Eclectically, don't you see that your uniqueness, your wit, your quirks, your strength, and weaknesses all can make this world a better place? What this world is starving for is you. Society and worldly selfish desires will try to change, mold, and get you to conform to its definition of you. You're not enough is what you'll be told. Well, I'm here to tell you, you, you are sufficiently enough if you just be you. In a shifting world and culture, take assurance in the plan and the purpose that is set for you. I encourage you to use your talents and gifts for a cause that is truly worthy, one that might change the world, one life at a time, starting with yours. I would like you to please listen to this small little snippet of a song. And of, and of course, the technology is great. <laughs> It's got to be a smartphone. Connected. Not connected. Connected. Not connected. Connected. It all begins. And I'm going to say that again. Say I won't. Say I won't. As you tackle your plan and purpose, I ask that you do this with moxie and grit. Say I won't. In simplicity, just like Muhammad Ali, I'm going to show you how great I am. Mackenzie Wollers, pretty gym this is. I can remember, as a baby, you be in place in here. How many naysayers, Mackenzie Wollers, said that you wouldn't make it and put that basket in there for a thousand points? Say I won't make a thousand. Abby Scott, say I won't make a successful bakery while in high school. Successful. Say I won't go to state track. Say I won't get a state FFA degree. 
Say I won't go be a great teacher, a welder, a nurse, electrician, or whatever your plan and purpose guide you to. But it's even more than that sitting in this gymnasium right now. Say I won't beat cancer. Say I won't open up my own barber shop. Say I won't build a house. Say I won't be a speech language pathologist. Or here's one that I think is the best. Say I won't come to my son's graduation when I had heart surgery two days ago. Say I won't. Under your chairs, I have a gift for you. Would you please pull it out? In its simplicity, this message should resonate in all of us. Say I won't. It's an attitude. It's a chip for you to carry on your shoulder. Class of 21, be faithful to the plan and purpose that is in store for you. As you enter into your new adventure, please recognize in life what really matters, and please identify what really doesn't. And somewhere in between, embrace the awesome gift that you are in this great world. In closing, humankind, try to be both. When things go wrong, don't go with them. And lastly, a piece of advice given to me a long, long time ago. In the book of Micah, there's a piece of scripture that says, Seek justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Godspeed, class of 21, you're awesome. Thank you very much.
At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our school counselor, Ms. Hankins, to present scholarships and awards. Could I have the following on stage? Reed, Paige, Cade, Zach, Joe, and Killian. Reed Byrne. Reed is receiving the Josephine Belial Memorial Scholarship, Bolander Memorial, Hazel L. Bolander Trust Scholarship, Gary Davis Memorial, Evans Drugs of Osceola, Royanna Lieber Memorial, Morton Medical Science, Osceola Optimist Club Laptop Recipient, Roger Self Memorial, Phil Suter Memorial, and Doug Wisner Memorial. Paige Cutler. Paige is receiving the Monegas Springs Park Association Scholarship, Osceola FBLA, Osceola Optimist Club Laptop Recipient, Osceola PTO, University of Central Missouri Red and Black Scholarship. Cade. Cade is an Osceola Optimist Club laptop recipient. <laughs> Zach Faulkner. Zach is the recipient of the Osceola Community Church Jack and Lita Kiefer Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Joe Guerin. Joe is receiving Missouri Association of Rural Education Scholarship, Osceola CTA. Osceola Student Council and Osceola FFA alumni. <laughs> Killian. Killian is receiving Hazel L. Bolander Trust, Evans Drug Osceola, First Christian Church of Osceola, CL and Isla Foote Memorial, Missouri State University Excellence Scholarship, Osceola Foundation for Community Assistance, OHS alumni, OHS class of 1950, OHS class of 1952, OH class of OHS class of 1960, OHS Optimist Foundation, Osceola Optimist Friend of Youth, St. Clair County Garden Club, St. Clair County Masonic Lodge, Roger Self Memorial, Shelter Insurance Foundation, and Killian is also an Osceola Optimist Club laptop recipient. Can I have on stage Mackenzie Keel, Mackenzie Newton, Abby Scott, Lily Shelley, Landon, Shelby, and Mackenzie Woolers? Mackenzie Keel is receiving Osceola Optimist Club Laptop and Washington State University Cougar Award. <laughs> Mackenzie is receiving the H Hazel L. Bolander Trust Scholarship, Johnson Library Prize, Julia Bennett Pasley Memorial Scholarship, Morton Medical Science Scholarship, J.B. and Blanche Remington Memorial, Osceola Optimist Friend of Youth, Richard Senderworth Memorial, St. Clair County Democratic Central Committee, Osceola Optimist Club Laptop Recipient, and the Missouri State Promise Scholarship. <laughs> Abby is receiving the Monega Springs Park Association Scholarship, OHS FFA, FFA Alumni Scholarship, OHS Student Council Scholarship, 
Osceola Optimist Friend of Youth Scholarship, Osceola Optimist Club Laptop Recipient. Lily is an Osceola Optimist Club Laptop Recipient. Landon is receiving the Missouri State University Academic Distinction Scholarship. Shelby is receiving the Gary Davis Memorial Scholarship, OHS FFA Scholarship, OHS Student Council, Ruan Music St. Clair County Quilt Guild, Stevia Bear Memorial Scholarship, Osceola Optimist Club Laptop Recipient. Mackenzie. Mackenzie is receiving the John M. Belisle Memorial Scholarship, Val J. Bennett Memorial Scholarship, Tara Moore Beesmeyer Memorial Scholarship, Jack and Lita Kiefer Memorial, Osceola Community Church, Carolyn Luther Memorial, Jeannie Naylor Memorial, Osceola CTA, Osceola CTA Educational, Osceola Optimist Friend of Youth, Osceola Optimist Club Laptop Recipient, and the Roger Self Memorial Scholarship.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure I present the graduating class of 2021. Rebecca Cheyenne Adams. Alexis Elizabeth Allen. Darren 
Lee Bird. Joshua Reed Byrne. Samantha Lucille Cochran. Carlos Dario Connard. Carly Ann Connard. Paige Lynn Cutler. Michaela Hope Davis. Cade Daxton Dugan. David Thomas Dwyer. Zachary Dean Faulkner. Grace Aaron Gaylord. Jesse Gonzalez. Joseph Cole Guerin. Killian Sean Holleran. Mackenzie Lenore Keel. Austin Nevaeh Shea Ketterman. Braden Allen Kotwitz. Logan James Lee. Blake William Long. Mackenzie K. Newton.
Moses Creed Phillips. Abigail Eileen Scott. Lily Paige Shelley. James Paul Soul. Landon Scott Summer. Daniel Jade Thompson. Shelby Grace Fompton. Samantha Weaver. Dakota Robert Williams. Mackenzie May Woolers.
It is now time to move from being OHS students to OHS graduates by a symbolic turning of the tassel. As we witness the sunset on the last part of their senior year, we are happy to see the sun rise on the next chapter of the lives of the graduating class of 2021. <laughs> this concludes the graduation exercises. Congratulations, graduates. i 
will always bring me something new. I'll get back 